Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, I want to address a, uh, a particular heresy that uh, Stephen Anderson is uh, teaching, uh, that sodomites uh, cannot be saved. And uh, I'm going to read here from Ruckman's uh, reference uh, Bible on chapter, not the re reference Bible, but his uh, commentary on Romans. And uh, after speaking about those verses that deal with uh, uh, homosexuality, he says here, uh, after that was said about homosexuality in the last passage, I dare say that some of you think that we Bible believers think that a sex pervert can never be saved. And I've heard that taught from this passage. So people are misreading Romans 1 and thinking all the sins that follow after the, uh, the list, the, uh, the discussion of uh, sodomy are uh, referring in particular to the uh, back to the homosexuals. And they're not. Uh, first, uh, Buckman writes here, but look at 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Know ye not that the righteous, uh, righteous, uh, unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of, with mankind shall inherit the kingdom of God, and such were some of you. But you are washed, but you are sanctified, and you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. There were Christians at Corinth who used to be homosexuals, and the Lord saved them just like he saved the idolaters and fornicators and adulterers, the adulterers, the thieves, the covetous, the drunks, and the blackmailers. Back in Romans 1, the entire passage is talking about the Gentiles as a group. Notice verse 21, when they knew God. Verse 24, God also gave them up unto uncleanness. Verse 26, God gave them up unto vile, gave them up unto vile affections. Verse 28, even as they did not like to reach, uh, retain God in their knowledge. So what you have in this passage is a history of the Gentile people when God gave them over to a reprobate mind. It had nothing to do with anything that took place in Paul's day. This passage is past, this passage is past history that took place before the time of Christ back in Genesis chapter 11. That is when the giving up, quote unquote, took place. The Gentiles have been rough, in rough shape for thousands of years. Again, the problem is with the word reprobate. The word reprobate doesn't mean lost but no chance of salvation. You can't read into the passage what God, that God gave up their soul to hell. That isn't even in the passage. Every man is a sinner and every man is under the wrath of God whether he, is, whether he has committed homosexuality or not. John 3.36. In fact, anybody can fit into the description of the reprobate mind that follows. I guarantee you that anybody reading this page has at some time, some time or another coveted, been jealous of another man's another's accomplishments, lied, talked about someone behind his back, been proud, bragged, disobeyed his, his parents, and hasn't been under, understood hasn't always understood a thing the way that God wanted him to understand it. Does that mean that you can never be saved? Of course not. The word reprobate is to reprobate. To put on probation again. A reprobate mind is a mind that has been tested by God and has, been, and has failed that test at least twice. The mind has broken its probation. What sinner hasn't broken probation before God anywhere from 2 to 50 times before salvation? In the passage before us, God tested the Gentile nations on these points. And the Gentiles failed as a group, failed as a group on, on more than one occasion. So the Lord gave them up the things which, were, which they were doing. He long, no longer dealt with them as a whole on the things listed in these verses. So the fact is many people are reading, uh, particularly uh, Stephen Anderson, reading, uh, misreading uh, uh, Romans 1 and thinking all those sins that uh, come after the uh, discussion of the Sodomites uh, are referring back to the Sodomites and therefore the Sodomites are unsavable. And what uh, 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 Anderson has, he discusses, First, uh, First Corinthians uh, six, and he tries to uh, deal with that, saying that uh, with that verse, saying that uh, uh, trying to get uh, get away from that verse and trying to disprove that verse actually means that homosexual can be saved. But the fact of the matter is, he can't even explain in that in that video. I'll link the video to this this uh, uh, to the uh, to this uh, video here. Uh, he can't even explain what. Uh, what the uh, uh, verse is, is even talking about, you see here. Um, uh, such, uh, let's see here, uh, let's see, nor abuses themselves with mankind on verse uh, 9, 16, 9. Uh, nor abuses themselves with mankind. He admits in that video, he doesn't know what that means. He, he does not know what that means because he doesn't want to admit 
the fact that uh, he's misreading uh, Romans 1 and uh, that all sodomites well, by necessity because God gives them over to reprobate mind cannot be saved. That is a lie. Uh, the fact is, is all, all that's saying is that uh, we see uh, as part of the, uh, the sin factor, uh, the, uh, the, the sin of sodomy uh, uh, manifesting itself as a, um, a boil uh, that represents a cancer inside that, that uh, culture. But the, on an individual basis, uh, they haven't been uh, uh, told they're unsavable. And this is, again, a misreading by Stephen Anderson, Romans 1, that the fact that those lists of sins uh, following the discussion of sodomites is referring to the Gentiles uh, as, as, uh, as a people in general, not in particular to the sodomites. And when uh, uh, Anderson tries to get to 1 Corinthians 6 and he tries to uh, do away with that verse and he, and he mocks that verse, so those who uh, understand the verse to, to uh, uh, what it's actually saying, that people who were sodomites at one time were actually saved from that sodomy, he, uh, he gets to uh, no abuses themselves with mankind and admits that he cannot even explain what that, what that even means. He doesn't know what that means because he's determined in his mind that a sodomite cannot be saved based on Romans 1 because he's misreading it. And therefore, once he's uh, made up that, his mind about it, uh, no other verse that clearly uh, 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 says otherwise, uh, he, uh, he won't accept it. He won't accept any other verse. Uh, clearly, 1 Corinthians 6 talks, uh, says clearly that uh, uh, a sodomites had been saved uh, from that, from that, uh, uh, that sin um, and uh, have gone, have become believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, so he's got he's to re reject 1 Corinthians 6, 19, what it says. Uh, he has to admit that he doesn't know what the, revi uh, re the revivers abuses themselves with mankind even admits. Anybody knows what that, what, what that uh, means. And uh, in order to hold on to the fourth view uh, of, of, uh, that sodomites can't be saved and his fourth reading of, of Romans 1. This is a mind of a man who is determined to preach the lie no matter what the scriptures say. Amen. Thank you.